Hey everybody, so this weekend I watched a movie called Annihilation. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was on Netflix. It came out in February of 2018. I didn't see it then. I just ran across it. It looked interesting. So this is going to be a short review because like if you give t- give too much away, then you won't watch the movie. So basically, here's the gist of it. Natalie Portman plays Lena and she is a scientist, professor, and an ex-soldier. So Lena is married to a man named Kang, who's played by Oscar Isaac. The only thing I've ever seen Oscar Isaac in is a Star Wars movie. So, I mean, I'm sure he's been in other things, but that's all I recognize him at. Natalie Portman's been in a lot. I recognize her from The Professional uh black swan etc etc so the movies you know she, natalie portman's character lena she um she's grieving for her husband he hasn't been home in a year like so she's believing that he's dead well he, he shows up and she's so happy and then she realizes yo what's wrong with you and she starts asking him questions and she's like, you can't tell me anything. Like, what is going on? Well, he starts having a seizure. So she calls the ambulance on the way to the hospital. Guess who shows up? The army takes her husband, Kane, and her to the secret facility. Enters Jennifer Jason Lee's character, Dr. Ventress. I've seen tons of things with Jennifer Jason Lee. She's a phenomenal actress. But she's one of those actors that are just on the cusp. Like, you'll recognize her, but she didn't go into superstardom. So, you know, this doctor's asking her questions. You know, know, did your husband tell you about the mission? She goes, I didn't ask. He didn't tell. I know the rules. Well, Dr. Ventress, you know, this is where your husband went. And we need to know how he came back. I'm not going to tell you any more than this. There's a section of the movie called The Shimmer, where her husband went into The Shimmer. The Shimmer's an interesting place. A lot of things happened. It was great. Now, some of the other kind of side actresses to this movie is Gina Rodriguez, which she's been in a number of things. And Tessa Thompson's been in some things. And so those two are really good actresses, too. They play their parts perfect. I love them in this. I will say... I loved how the movie ended because it left you with a little cliffhanger wondering what happened. Do I think what happened happened? Or am I just imagining it? But that is my short little review. This is a good movie. I would definitely recommend if you're not doing anything and you don't know what to watch, give it a try. It's sci-fi. It's got some action in it. It's got some suspense. It's a mystery. I mean, not a lot of all that, but it's just a little bit thrown into everything to make you wonder and start, you know, asking questions. All right, guys, I hope you everybody has a good day and I will talk to you guys later.